Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel for everyone being here. So on today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you a really quick and easy way to curl your hair. All it's going to be is rope braids and don't worry, you haven't got a crossover or anything. All you're going to do is get the hair and then twist and twist and twist to do that. Once we've got the two sides in, we'll twist together and then that's going to give us the, the sort of the base for getting the hair set to curl it really, really simply. So to start, just grab Enjoyco's flip turn. And I just want to be doing just a bit of a light mist. Just gives us a little bit of sort of grip, something for the hair to sort of bond to. And when it's heated up, something that will make it set that little bit stronger. So first what I want to do is I want to split that hair down the back. I'm just going to comb it all away from the face. If you've got fringe or anything like that, you can bring that back into it. It's probably not going to be long enough to get in with it. But if you've got longer bangs or face framing, just comb it all back into something quite neat. It doesn't have to be really neat because curls, we want it to be a little bit sort of disheveled and that sort of thing. So now I've got it like that. So you can see we are just going to wrap it like so. You can see I'm not doing anything really special, but this is called a rope braid. And you can see there it's just twisted and I want to do exactly the same on the other side so we'll comb all of that back like so and if you were doing this at home what you could do is if you've got it all back like that you could just start to twist it sort of over your shoulder and then bring it back I've just got this one in this hand and then every time I twist I'm just gripping hold like so there we go so there's both sides twisted so you can see looks like a little bit of like a hair up sort of thing um, but what you want to make sure you do is you want to be twisting that way on this side and then on this side, you want to be twisting towards me. So you're twisting away from the face. And then you are just going to twist those together. So two, two rope braids twisting together. And then with the ends, how we do, we just get it and we just twist like that. So that is that. Those two rope braids twisted together and the reason that we've twisted one side one side and then together is like i said we want them to be twisting that way away from the face so we can create the curls as if you would get with a tongue or straighteners and then what we do we get some foil and i'm just going to squeeze it around both of them so another one just here i've got my still holding those ends And then all this wants to do is we're using it just to keep the hair there. Then we grab our hair dryer and we just start heating the hair. And one key point of this is you want to get it warm enough. So then when you're letting it, when you're letting it not dry, when you're letting it cool down, you're going to be able to pull it out and you've got beautiful curls. But that is the top tip with this. You can heat up all day long, but if you don't let it cool down, your curls aren't going to stay. And there we go. What we're going to do is we're going to let that cool down completely. So it's, so it's, I was going to say bone cold, bone dry. So it's stone cold. And then we're going to pull that foil out, brush it all out. And you can have this really sort of undone wave curl to your hair. All cooled down, that foil's all cold. What we're going to do is just going to take that foil off. You already see there's a little bend in there. There we go. You can already see that that hair has sort of entwined together and created a curl. So what we want to do is we can either rake it out, we can do it with a brush, or we could do my trusty shake it. But I'm not going to do today. I'm just going to do this. So I've some titivating or manipulating. You can see it has actually put a bit of a curl in there. If there was more hair density, you wouldn't be getting such sort of a, well, stringy ends but as, as a quickie sort of way to curl your hair 
bit of beachy, that sort of thing. It's not actually that bad. We'll throw it forward. So you can see, once we've sort of had a little bit of a, of a play with it, we can get some curl in that hair. Or at least some styling, shall I say. Because if you look at that side now, how we've got a bit more shape to it when we had nothing at the beginning, just a really quick and easy way just to add a little bit of movement, a curl, a bit of a wave to your hair. So there we go. That's the finished result. Something quick and easy, something very simple. We're not going to be getting beautiful, big, bouncy beach waves, obviously, because of the method in which we've done it. But it's not bad. Look at that volume it gives. All a little bit sort of like manipulating and everything like that with some hairspray and getting a bit of movement in there. But that is it. Foil, hair dryer, heat it up, let it cool down, pull it out, and then give it a little bit of sort of titivating, stuff like that. Get some hairspray in there, and it gives you something like that, which I think is something which would probably take you, what, 15 minutes? Not bad at all. So let me know in the comments down below what you think to this method. Would you do it if you were in a real, real struggle on a desert island? Or what well, I think what this could be good for on holiday, if you are sort of like getting ready in the evening and you don't really want to do anything to your hair, it's already super, super hot abroad. Uh, you could just bang some foil through the back of through like the back of your hair, get ready, sit on the balcony, let the heat do its thing, and then let it cool down and then see how it goes. But do it on dry hair. The reason I would say not to do it on wet hair is because if your hair is prone to frizzing, um, you're just going to end up with it being frizzy. So you can either straighten it before, blow dry it before, let it dry natural, but then run the, run the irons over it, and then just do that. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.